Hi beautiful people, welcome you to another tutorial. My name is Pat Nosso. Um, um, thank you so much guys to my subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I am very grateful. Um, this is for a long way. Um, sometimes the regular bonnet can be um, a little bit comfortable when you are uh, making this when you have to wear it but for a long way this is super super comfortable like it allows you to still nip your braid as long as it is without you know discomforting you so this is where the uh, band you wear it from the head circumference and of course here is where the braid actually flows out from okay and this length goes um, beyond the bra hook at the back okay and you can also make it um, smaller if you want it that it is not going to be for so much of a long uh, of braids okay so these are beautiful um, colors I, I made and so I am going for this tutorial this is what I'm going to be used I'm also going to uh, make use of this um, stretchy fabric as well you know I have this I'm going to make use of this and of course this um, I'm a half inch of um, elastic which is going to I will use for this other side where the, the braids can you know come out from okay so here um, I usually like to work with 40 by um, 30 okay now the 30 inch is usually for the length of this of the the cap and um, you can reduce it like I said if you want it to be smaller you can also um, reduce um, it in length it does if you want it to be say above um, the bra hook okay you can do 25 that's 40 by 25 but here I'm making this long one which is 40 by um, 30 okay so all I needed to do now was to fold this into two like this okay I am folding at the, the longer length which is the 40 take note of that not at um, the 30 I'm folding at longer length 40 and so folding it now on this side I now have about 20 and of course on this side I have um, 30 okay 30 so what I'm going to do now the first thing I'll do now is on this unfold part here this length this the 30 length part I'm going to get the midpoint of it okay which is 15 I'll take note of that okay then I'll come to this other side here I have um, 20 I also get the midpoint of it um, which is um, 10 because the fabric has been a little bit shorter so here I have like 9 19 inches so I can just do 9.5 it's okay still I'll take note of the midpoint okay then coming to this other side you know here is along the length okay I'm working with so um for the length, I usually like to do say about 26, 27, but let me work with 27. So I'm just going to mark 27 here. Then of course, I'm going to put um, an extra allowance, about two inches. Half inch is what I'm going to use to sew um, the band to ease. And of course, one and a half inch I will use to create the casing, okay, for this lower part, okay, this lower part of the elastic. So I'll add an extra two inch here. Okay, and that's it. So this is the length I'm working with. So now, the next thing I'm going to do, having in mind of this point we've taken here, at this place where we took um, the midpoint of this 30 inches, I'm just going to come here now. Sorry guys, I hope you can see this. I'm just going to take this from this point and form a curve to this length. From here, I'm forming a curve here. You can do it with a curve, you like carefully do it with a cleaner. Just from here, I'll just form a curve to this length here, okay? So like so. Can you see this? That's the first stage. Then the next one is from this same point, Coming down to this place where we have, um, where we mark out the midpoint as well, this time around is going to be a straight line. So I'll just draw a straight line from here to this place. Okay, my ruler to do that. This is not long enough. Okay. 
and that's it okay from here a straight line from the same point curve all the way so the next thing is to cut this out Okay, so this is what we have. So I'm just going to open this up like this, it's quite wide. So on this part now, this is the curved area, and this part is the straight um, part. This is where we'll be forming the casing for the elastic. So on this part, I'm just going to fold it here for half inch first, then of course one inch, I'll create my um, elastic casing, okay, for this. I will do that first, then come to this curved area, then I was, I'm going to pleat a, you run a stitch, a gather stitch, okay, if that works for you better, run a gather stitch and pull it off to give you um, the head circumference. Now the head circumference I'm working with is 23 inches, just place your tape around your hair, on the fullest part of your hair, take it around, you get your head circumference, and that is what you work with. So here, the head circumference I'm working with is 23 inches, so I'm just going to form a gathers here, or preferably a pleat, okay, whichever one works for you. The most important thing is to form um, um, the curve that is going to um, you know, accommodate the hair that's going to make the yeah to form the cup for the, the hair. Okay, so just form a pleat, and of course, by the time you do that, be sure to measure to be sure that um, it's going to be the hair circumference. But of course, when you're forming it not directly at the tip, you leave about say um, half inch or three quarter inch on this side. And of course, on the other end too, leave half in which you are going to use at the end of the day after four minutes, which you are going to use to, you know, finally close up, okay? Finally close it up, okay? All the way to this down part. So whichever way works for you easier, but easier for me, I'll first of all form my elastic casing that, then of course form my cup. Then after that, of course, then you can now fix um, the so guys i'm done creating the casing for the elastic and on this part also i have um, done the gathers on this part for the head circumference and this is exactly the head circumference okay excluding the half inch on both sides both end for stitching it so the next thing i'm going to do of course i have here this elastic this is about eight inch i'm just going to take my um, safety pin like so Okay, and pass my elastic through, all through here. Okay. I'm taking notes so that it doesn't all go in totally. I would like to hold it down at this end. Okay, then um, continue with that. can see so once I'm done I'll just um, sew it up properly okay I'll still hold it down with a pin okay so I'm going to sew it up totally afterwards after then then I'll distribute the gathers on this area properly then when I'm done with that I'll come to this place this band I have here the stretch out fabric, so I have here about 5 inch in length by um, 24, remember the hair circumference is 23, but here I cut out, um, of course, um, 20, here I have 23 and a half actually, so because it's stretching, okay, it doesn't have to necessarily be the exact, so I'm going to use this to sew up, and the allowance we left on both sides, by the time we sew it all together, is going to match depending on the texture of what you're using this one is not so stretchy like that okay so i'm just going to start placing it now here on the wrong side okay and here um i have 
this is the wrong side of the band so the right side is facing the wrong side okay that is how i'll start attaching it from the t okay i'm going to sew through so i'll just quickly do that with demonstrating it with a pin So you keep doing this till you get um, to the very end. Okay. So once you're done stitching it all through, then you will now flip it to the right side. Okay. So flipping it to the right side, I'll first of all fold it half an inch like this. Fold it half an inch. Then place it on the front like this. I hope you can see. So then you will now sew. This time around, you are sewing on the right side. So you fold half an inch carefully um, do that then you will sew all the way as you see me demonstrating like this okay Okay, so you see, this is done already, okay? Then the next thing now is to just fold it into two. This is the final stitch now. Fold it into two, then the half inch allowance we left on both sides. You will use it and run it all the way to this point where you have the elastic case. Remember, the elastic is at the edge. You also sew it all the way, half to inch to the end and that's it guys like that's it you're done but of course whichever one works for you you might prefer to have sewn this together first before you start putting in your band and the elastic okay but i prefer to work with this open space as it is like this okay so whichever one works for you so let's just go finish this up and of course you will see the end result of this beautiful um bonnet and here you have it guys the long braid bonnet is ready. So beautiful. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do, guys, please do not forget to share my videos. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Till I see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.